Hi, Story Gordon here. How's it going? How's your speaking going? Are you as successful as you'd like to be? I've been speaking since 1957, about 20 years as a full-time professional. I've never had my speaking to the point I wanted. I've been close, but every now and then I have to fall back and say, wait a minute, what's needed to make it better. When someone asks me what it takes to be a successful speaker, I say, it takes the same effort and commitment that it takes to be successful in any endeavor. For me, there are four steps or essentials in success. Motivation, wanting to do it, commitment, investing the time and energy to become better, expertise, becoming more and more proficient. Time alone does not make us better. Committed practice is what it takes. And finally, persistence. Because whenever we do something that's really deep inside of us, we may come to the point where we hit a little barrier and say, wait a minute, I'm not sure I can continue. In speaking, here's what it takes in my view. Think about this. First, you have to have something to say people want to hear. We all have plenty to say, but not all people want to hear it. That's not enough. You also have to say it in such a way that they get it. That's not the same as sitting over coffee and chit-chatting, which is a back and forth or a duplex conversation, because if the person you're talking with doesn't get it, they can say, wait a minute, explain that. So speakers have to anticipate what it is the audience might not be getting and form their words and approach to make sure the audience gets it. It's that simple. Have something to say people want to hear and say it in a way so they get it. There's a problem, an Achilles heel, elocution. Because just because I have something to say you want to hear, and just because I put it in a form that you get it does not mean that your mind will really get it. Elocution includes pronunciation, enunciation, articulation, gestures, both body and face, especially facial expressions. The face can tell so much. Now, I'm an old guy. Yesterday was my birthday. I was 81 on January the 1st, 2019. I am at a point in my life where my enunciation or my elocution is not as good as it was 60 years ago. So I have to be more careful in how I speak. One of my speaking buddies, a professional, said, Gordon, you're a casual speaker. I am. The reason I'm a casual speaker is that I made my living making presentations and conducting training sessions where the primary goal was for the audience to get the message. You might think, well, that's always the case. Not necessarily. Some speakers don't want you to get your message. They want you to get their message. I'd rather you get your message. So I'm going to put my message together in a way that you can think about, something you can consider. I consider this ideas to consider, not directions to follow. Elocution is what I consider to be the speaker's Achilles heel. There are many ways to work on elocution. There are practices you can engage in. You can search the internet for exercises and ideas. 
But one way to do it is to record yourself and listen to how you're speaking with a critical ear. Also, hit the internet. Watch some of the YouTube videos or TED Talks and assess how the speakers are getting their message through. Are they talking too fast or slow? Too loud, too soft? Too monotonous or too animated? Then use that information to tune your particular speaking style. That's it. If the audience doesn't get what it is you're trying to say, why bother? This is Story Gordon signing off. There are more than 180 video clips on my YouTube channel, each one of them an idea to consider, not a direction to follow. Thanks for stopping by. And here's wishing you all the best in your quest for success, be it speaking or something else.